This time, I would like to introduce the service called Clip Studio Assets, which offers materials that can be used with Clip Studio Paint. Access the Assets service by starting up Clip Studio and clicking the Assets button. Clip Studio Assets will be opened in the window. You can download various materials such as tones, 3D models, image materials, brush materials and more, which you can use with Clip Studio products. Or you can publish and display your own original materials. Celsius has released publicly available materials, but many users have also created their own and made them available. There are free and paid materials, however, you can use any materials regardless of commercial or non-commercial use, without the need for credit. For more details on the terms, you can read the Terms of Service directly in the menu on the left side of Assets. Now, let's actually download some materials and use them. First, click the icon of the material you want to download and check the details of it. To download a material, click the download button in the upper right corner. If you know a descriptor or the name of a material you want, you can also search for them using the search bar. Once the download is complete, the material is automatically saved in Clip Studio Paint's material palette under Download. Depending on the material, the methods of how to use them will differ. There are two ways to use downloaded materials. The first one is to simply drag and drop the material onto the canvas. This method is used for image materials, tone and 3D materials. However, there are materials that cannot be used this way. This applies to brushes and auto actions. If you want to add the brush material, you need to register the brush to the subtool palette. From the tool palette, select the subtool palette to register the brush material to and drag and drop it from the material palette into the subtool palette. This action registers the brush and adds it to the subtool palette. If you want to add multiple brushes at the same time, select the desired material in the material palette and click the apply button. With that, multiple materials are registered in the same subtool group. Materials in the subtool palette can be used to create a new subtool group, or they can be dragged onto the tools palette and be displayed there on their own. Brushes registered in the subtool palette can be used as they are. Let's use one now. Assets offers materials for manga as well as color materials. However, in Clipsadio Paint, 
you can simply click the tone button in the layer property palette and convert the color materials into tones or manga materials quickly. When adding an auto action, as with brushes, select the downloaded auto action in the material palette. and press the apply button to register it. Please import your favorite materials from assets and create your own in Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint has various interesting features such as 3D drawing models and vector functions. There are more videos where I explain the basics of illustration and manga drawing. Make sure to check them out.